Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the second video of the hike to go up to the Sevilla Lakes to see the Blue Bearded Helmet Crest. If you haven't seen the first video or the video of my preparing for this hike or any of my other trip videos, you can click right there. A Snyder led the way and we were on our way to the top. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Today, we were only going to go seven miles, <laughs> only. But we would gain 3,000 feet in elevation over those seven miles. So it was going to be steeper and uphill most of the way. I'm here with Al Snyder, our lead guide, who's taking us up this hill. We've come a bit of the ways, but we are about ready to attack what is known as the killer hill part of this hike. I'm already out of breath, but darn it, I'm going to do it. Whose idea was this? This could not possibly have been my idea. Yeah, it was mine. <laughs> Come too far in this to raise my flag and call it quits. So I keep, oh, I keep on pushing through. Oh, with every step, my heart it pounds. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure I have my doubts, but I must keep, I must keep pushing through. Rafael, Luis, and Juli had stayed behind to pack up all the gear and put them on the mules, and they were now catching up to us. Rafael told us the names of his mules and his horse. Esta mula cada una tiene su nombre. Este se llama el venado, la gaviota, el pequeñito que es el muñeco, y la yegua es la mona. You can see where Huli is pointing across the mountain. That is where the El Dorado Resort is, the Pro Aves Resort that everybody goes to to go birding and see the wonderful Santa Marta endemics. But you have to be on this side of the hill to see the Santa Marta Wren and the Blue Bearded Helmet Crest because they prefer a much higher elevation. evidence everywhere that much of the land up here had been and still was being cleared for grazing. And this is one of the reasons why birds such as the Helmet Crest and the Santa Marta Wren are endangered. The area where they thrive is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I had given Roger explicit instructions never to let me know how much further we had to go. If he said something like, well, we're halfway there, and in my mind, I thought we were almost there, that would not be good for me. <laughs> so I never had any idea how much further we had to go. We've stopped for a lunch break. Uh, which actually means we're not almost there. Every time we round a bend, I think we're there. 
But I'm have you know, in the States, I've never seen tuna packed with vegetables. But that's what I have here. This smells great. It's really good tuna. And I'm starving! <laughs> he was because at this point everything was looking pretty much the same to me until we came to a little stream. Then it was a relentless climb over one hill then another then another every time we got to the top of a hill, I swore I was going to see the water of the Sevilla Lakes, but no. Then we rounded a bend around one of the hills and a Snyder pointed out water. <laughs> I broke down. I was looking at the first Sevilla Lake. further to hike to get to the second lake but after seeing that water in my mind we were already there so I was walking on air. almost finished the hike. You can see the second lake behind us. This is the lake where people normally see the helmet crest. Um, I've got to thank all these people. William's behind the camera, but you all know William Oriana from Beaks and Peaks. This is Katinka Doman from Beaks and Peaks. Be I can't even talk. Beaks and Peaks. This is Al Snyder who has been helping me step through the rocks here without killing myself. <laughs> Luis was carrying my camera equipment. God bless you, Luis. <laughs> and this is Roger. He's uh, the local guide that's been up here a few times and helping us get through. I'm a little emotional right now because, <laughs> you know, I sometimes I even wondered myself if I was going to make it this far, but I was determined to, and I can't believe that I'm hopefully going to see this bird tomorrow. Cooley greeted us at the campsite with some agua panela, which is a hot tea made with sugar cane to help give us energy. This map of the trail shows the route we took from the town of San Pedro all the way up to the Sevilla Lakes. This was a total of 18 miles that took us up to an elevation of about 10,000 feet. 
After a little rest, we hiked up to the third Sevilla Lake where we would be filming the next day. The area here is so beautiful. I can certainly understand why the Kogi people consider this ground to be sacred. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday you're going to see pictures of the Santa Marta Wren and exclusive video footage and pictures of the full plumaged male blue bearded helmet crest.